Uh, we'll take you through the pain. Second straight game against a huge rival for Canada. Does not start well. Less than two minutes in. Jared McIsaac's pass picked off. Alexander Havanoff fires it on net. Nico Dawes kind of loses it, and it falls behind him into the goal. Dale Hunter considers challenging, but doesn't. The replays would appear to show that both the original entry right there and the turnover right there both offside but you don't have as much time in international hockey we don't know if they had the angles they did not challenge now it's two nothing russia the neil plike milenkov lays into one ratishev pots the loose puck it's pretty much the story three nothing now and this is the part that really hurts 90 seconds into the second alexi lafreniere drives the net crash into the russian goalie holding his left leg did not return leg gets stuck in the pads it looks like of Mith Mithahoff, and that was it for Lafreniere. No pressure whatsoever on the leg as he was helped to the dressing room. Not long after play resumed, Nikita Alexandrov walks virtually untouched. The Blues prospect first to the tourney. That would be the end for Nico Dawes, but that does not stop the bleeding for Canada. Igor Sokolov tips in the point shot. And uh, this is just the way the entire game goes. Russia would add another as Canada loses. Yeah, those faces throughout the crowd. Nico Dawes in shock, a 6-0 final. It is the worst loss differential-wise ever for Canada at the World Junior Championships. It's the first time they've been shut out since 1998, a game against Slovakia, which was a 0-0 tie. Here are some of those losses if you want to go through history. Uh, a 6-1 to the Czechs in 92, 7-2 to the Russians in 92. We're going way back on most of these. There are a couple of 5-1 semifinal losses also in 2013 and 14, but we don't remember a game as lopsided as this one.